Hello everyone, I'm gonna show you how the webhook extension works. So the first thing you need to do is go to extension options on header menu. You will see all the extensions available. And you will choose webhook add-on and activate it. So once it's activated, uh, create your form. So in this case, I will create just example form and we will add an email, email, email address, add the validation, also add the text area field. The message, your message, and add some select select list. This is topic, your topic. Add some options. Okay. And in this case, we don't need the price level. Finally, add the submit button. And submit. There it is. And go to extension. You can see the webhook settings here. You have to enable this. Then you have to put the webhook URL. In this case, uh, we have to go to Zapier. Uh, for example, make a new SAP. Webhook. There it is. And just a trigger. In this case, pull, catch. Waiting for a new post put, get yes. There it is. This is it. This is our um webhook URL. We copy this and uh, wait continue. Yes, now you can test here. But once we have finished our form. So we put here the webhook URL, the content in this case for, for Zapier, we need to use the application, this one, JSON. And add our form fields. In this case, um, I will add, even you can put, you can change here, message, you can put, you can change message, topic, you can put topic, and that's it. Save changes. There it is, you have this, you have finish the form. And now you can test. Just go to preview and and then you have to go to Sapier and put that test review in mo in mode test review. Okay, now it's it's um, scanning and we have to send the information now. Just inform message. There it is. Sending information. We got the information. You can see the Sapier has captured. If we see the information, you can see the details here. Is the email? Is the message? 
and this is the topic. So you can see our um, extension, the webhook extension is working fine. Now, once you have captured the data, you can do anything you want. So I think that's all. Then you can do anything you want with any other application here from Zapier. So um, thanks for listening to me.